everybody. I've got a fun video today. It's called How to Join a Lawsuit. Come with me. We're going to join a lawsuit today and it's going to be fun. But wait a minute. Before we join the lawsuit, you're probably asking the question, why would I want to join a lawsuit? Well, I've been the victim of a terrible online scam. I signed up for a membership website with Kimkins.com. On the front of the Kimkins.com, there was a wonderful picture of a lady in a lawn chair. She claimed that her name was Kimmer and that she had lost 198 pounds in 11 months. I was a bride-to-be and I wanted to lose some weight, not 198 pounds, but just enough to look good in that wedding dress. Well, it turns out that Kimmer didn't lose 198 pounds and that she even isn't the lady that's seen in the lawn chair. We're gonna save that for another video. So today, we're gonna to show you how easy it is to join the lawsuit against Kimkins.com. Come on, it's really easy. So what kinds of things do you really need to join a lawsuit? Is it really that simple? Well, the first thing you're gonna need is a computer. I have a lovely little MacBook here. I love the Mac. It's great for surfing the web and doing all kinds of things. But the MacBook alone isn't enough to join the lawsuit. You also need internet access. You need to download the proper forms to join the lawsuit. So for my internet access, I have a cool little card. It's called an Evdo card. It's kind of handy and neat. I can actually be riding around in a car and go online and surf around. But we'll talk more about the Evdo card another day. Today we want to just join the lawsuit. Another optional tool you might consider when joining a lawsuit is to have a martini in your hand. It's not necessary, but it might help things go along a lot quicker. I like it. Let's give it a taste and see if it's any good. Oh, wow. That is absolutely delicious. I'm ready now to go finish filling out the paperwork and forms to join the lawsuit. Come on, let's go. Shh. Before I can show you my computer screen, I just need to clear a few things off of it. Okay, I'm back. And um, I just want to show you something really quick. Here's my computer screen, and um, here's Kimkins.com. Here's the um, Lady Kimmer, who um, supposedly her name's Kimmer, but her real name now we know is Heidi Diaz. Anyway, this is the lady that said that she like lost a lot of weight, but she really didn't lose a lot of weight. And you can tell because she is um, actually on her own diet now, supposedly. I'm not really sure about that, though, because her diet's supposed to be a very fast diet, and um, it looks over the last few weeks like Heidi really hasn't been losing a lot of weight very fast. Um, so I don't know why uh, this would be a very good diet um, that's supposed to be a fast diet or why it's any better than any other diet that's out there. Uh, you could easily get the results that uh, Heidi's getting just by following a regular Atkins low-carb diet. And there's a lot of free forums for that too. One of my favorite forums is uh, Low Carb Friends um, and they're a free forum and um, I really enjoy their website. And in my spare time, I like to go read the um, uh, fascination with Kimmer thread. It's very long and um, one day when I get a chance I'm going to read it from front to back. It's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions uh, just because it is such a fascinating story. Uh, so anyway I just wanted to show you who the website uh, the problem was and um, what the lawsuit is kind of about. So now we're going to go to download the lawsuit uh, paperwork and forms that we're going to need to join the lawsuit. And I'm going to put in http dot dot slash slash, the dot dot is a colon, slash slash, kimkinslawsuit dot wordpress dot com. Scroll down. It says download the affidavit or declaration form. So as we read this, it says, here are the form affidavit and form declarations that need to be submitted to John Tite for inclusion in the kimkins.com lawsuit. Um, and there's two instructions here because I am not a California resident, um, but I can still join the lawsuit. That's great. That's why America is a great country. And we're going to click open. Okay. And there it is. There's our, um, oh, and our friend John is right at the top line there. John E. Tight. And at the bottom of this form, um, is where you need to sign your name in. We need to print this up next. So that's the next thing we're definitely going to need to 
um, join a lawsuit, we need a printer. The command to use on your computer is file and print. That's file and print. And that was it. It looks like my pages are all printed up. Could you pass that to me, Kitty? Oh, thank you. So here we go. Here's the pages. And I'm going to go back through and I'm just going to double check that all the information I need is on these two pages. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, fill out the required uh, information on the lines here. And uh, give me a moment and I'll be right back with you with all that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down and go find my closest bank that I can find uh, who's got a notary because this does need to be um, notarized. So that's where we're going to go now. Hi, it's me and I'm back. Um, I had to walk downtown now, so I had to go to the closest bank to find a notary. And I went to the lovely Citizens Bank. Let me see if I can get it for you over across the street. That would be the Citizens Bank, and a really nice lady just took me in in there. It was only $2 uh, because I wasn't a member of that bank, which is uh, a small price to pay just to get uh, my stamp and uh, join the lawsuit. So now I need to, I got my um, stuff signed, and uh, she witnessed it, and now I'm going over to the post office, which happens to be right next door. Behind the bus, obviously. I'm going in there and I'm going to send this out priority mail and um, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'll just give you a recap of what just happened. Um, I went downtown, I went to the bank and I got my um, paperwork notarized and then I went to the post office and pretty much threw it in a priority mail envelope and sent it on its way. And that's it. That's exactly how easy it is to join a lawsuit. You could even do it when you're after you filled out all your Christmas cards this holiday season and you have to go to the post office and get some stamps anyway. Um, just drop that paperwork right in there in the mail. It's very simple. I'm going to trust my U.S. Postal Service to be speedy in their delivery and handle the package with care. And I'll probably call in a couple of days and just make sure that the law firm got my information. Um, and that's it. Well, that's it for the day. I'm glad you came to join me for my how to join a lawsuit video. Next time, we're going to be looking for the lady in the lawn chair. Bye-bye.